the floor made up in robot. Necromatosis is a lost 2013 episode of the Cartoon Network series Adventure Time. No one knew the episode except for the creator himself, Pendleton Ward. Necromatosis was the original name of the Inchiridion and accordingly was supposed to be a book about summoning demons. The production code was switched around until the episode Daddy's Little Monster was the final straw before the episode was shelved. Recently however, the episode was found in a bootleg DVD collection from a sketchy website. I won't touch upon the bootleg DVD collection, but accordingly it contained episodes of The Simpsons, SpongeBob, Mr. Meaty, and two of the Angry Birds movies. Here was a transcript of the episode from a perspective of a viewer. It started off with the intro as normal. The colors were fine, everyone was fine. It seemed like a normal episode until the title card. It shows a black book surrounded by candles with the name of the episode. The music was what caught me. It was a slow drum beat with occasional chime and a slow build up of a male choir, like a summoning circle. It started with Finn and Jake walking from a fight, covered in battle damages. Finn turns around and says to Jake. Hey Jake, let's get some food at the treehouse. I'm pooped. Jake turns around and chuckles. Yeah, after we dunk those thieves. Jake said as they were walking. I noticed that it was dark outside because of the black sky and an occasional star. Finn and Jake go to a lump of grass and lay upon it, and both of them sighed. Maybe we can chill for a bit. Jake said before Finn added. Yeah, maybe we should help. Finn yelped as his hand slid into a sharp corner of the hill, cutting his hand. Ow! I cut myself! Finn screamed. Then Finn tapped the hill, saying, This feels less a hill and more a door. Suddenly, the hill started to crumble as all of the grass grazed off to reveal a black chest. There was an inscription on it and Finn read it out loud. Beware of the chest, for you must dare, for it contains a book. Unkempt of the world. Take the book. You're done. Pay the piper. Look at yourself. That sounds like the Ice King. Jake said sarcastically. No, Jake. The Ice King wouldn't have written something this cryptic. Finn said concerned. The lock was already broken, so Finn and Jake grabbed the side of the chest and slowly opened it. Inside was a black book coated in dust. Jake grabbed the book and brushed. Necro? Jake said slowly. Finn looked at the book and gasped loudly. Necromatosis, it's the book of demons. Jake gasped and looked at Finn. How did you know about this? Jake asked. Marceline told me about this book. She said that this book is the key that unlocks demons and spirits. You can control and command demons to attack. Finn explained, opening the book. The beginning page had a single chant. Finn sighed audibly before saying the chant out loud. Dominus! Nero! The Chromatosis! The book suddenly shook, as a black mist suddenly possessed Jake. A loud gurgling choking sound from Jake was heard before he collapsed. Jake! Finn screamed as he grabbed Jake's lifeless body and shook him slightly. Suddenly, Jake's eyes shot open. Jake's eyes were crimson, as a demonic voice spoke. I am the great Haramasha, the demon of the Necromatosis. You summon my will. For this, you're granted with the Sword of Demons. Finn was absolutely gobsmacked as a sword made of flesh and bone was summoned. As Finn held it, his perspective changed. Now, Finn's view switched to regular U. As Finn explored the regular U, he was in shock with what he was seeing, even seeing Jake at the treehouse. Everything seemed fine, until Finn dropped the sword. Finn's skin turned pale and his eyes went wide. What? Was all Finn could say. All the trees were on fire, the sky was gray and the world seemed in ruins. As Finn explored the world, he noticed the Candy Kingdom was in shambles with some buildings crumbling and all of the candy people decimated. Even Princess Bubblegum is stabbed in the arm and chest. Finn couldn't believe it. He destroyed the world he was meant to protect. Finn looked at his hands. What kind of hero am I? Finn said in a panic. As Finn continued exploring, more and more friends and bodies piled up, making Finn more and more depressed. 
By the end, Finn went by the tree house and grabbed the sword. He pointed the sword at his neck, with his hands shaking. Dude! The voice of Jake said softly. Finn looked over. He noticed it was Jake from the regular ooh. Can you please calm yourself? Jake said. Finn panted, cold sweat leaking from his forehead. Finn nodded before he put the sword in his bag. The episode ended with Finn and Jake going to the Candy Kingdom. The episode felt longer than a regular episode, but on top of that, the disturbing and gruesome details were too heavy for a show like Adventure Time. I still remember the episode on some occasion, especially Jake's possession. The only thing saved was the title card. I did get in touch with the writer of the episode, Craig Klein, and got an interesting interview. Accordingly, the production on what was supposed to be Daddy's Little Monster was going into shambles, with episodes piling up and storyboard artists taking five weeks just to make one single storyboard. So, the only remaining writers felt like they needed to create a darker episode for the series.